Welcome back to Limbus Company, Daily Mirror Dungeon. It's a very stupid bit this time around. Um, it's one that, like, the joke will make perfect sense once we get into the actual fight themselves. Because, um, it's stupid. It's something I think I mentioned at one point being a funny idea. We just took some, like, random singing stuff to start out with, because might as well. Uh, the team has already been preset. I was testing to make sure it's as funny as I thought it would be. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. So if we get a go if we get green residents, eight passives trigger just like that. That's the bit. Um, I'm not gonna go exclusively gloom, but I'm gonna make sure I get the gloom passives every turn. That's that's gonna be the hope. So most of them are. So these five are three Gloom Resonance, and I believe this one's also three Gloom Resonance. Zwipe House is two Gloom Resonance, and Baby Song is four Gloom Resonance. However, the other four people don't have any Gloom Resonance passive, so I just threw on random stuff that won't trigger for the bit. I thought was, I could have thrown on stuff that would trigger, but I thought it'd be funny to do stuff that just wouldn't trigger. Right? So I thought of, of it at least. Yeah. That's really that's really all there is to this. Uh, it's just like, it's a pattern I've noticed recently where we've gotten quite a few IDs with the three Gloom Resonance. So we got Butler, Otis, and we got, um, Flint and Gregor, both of which have a three Gloom Resonance passive. And we've got uh, some of them in the past too, like, you know. You, you, you. I didn't think about your passive, you know, before I was looking into it, but yeah, you sure are, do have a Gloom passive. And like this is like the only time this is like the only time I've actually like used Rose Finn or Mercy over something is for his Gloom passive. I don't even think it's good. It's like what class targets targets with Tremor or something. Which uh, Yeah, the highest one of the highest speed loaded the class target opponents with Tremor by one. Riveting. Let's try to make sure we get that resonance. Yeah, everyone here also does have Gloom defensive skills. It's kind of coincidentally, a lot of people do have defensive skills that match their passive, which makes sense. That way you can get your passive off, you know, easier, more consistently. Oh, see, see how this team goes. It's another sinking team. Because, you know, we haven't run sinking enough lately. It's the season of sinking. It's going to happen a lot this season. If you are if you're, if you're surprised by, like, the seeming frequent of sinking, it's because you're getting a lot of sinking IDs, right? I don't even think I'm doing that many episodes on it, but I've done more on it of sinking than I usually do. And I'm doing sinking runs without Rodeon, which or Spice Bush, which is really nice, that's for sure. A little bit more variety, you know? And we've also got some people that aren't sinking, just warp, just warp down, I guess. And basically, he's going is sinking for some reason. He's not very good sinking. Two sinking, two sinking, three, one count, three sinking. Um, yeah, he's not very good. But you know, it's the thought that counts. We get that Gloom Rose and we trigger all eight of our passives, just like that. Let's see, if you before I go to the shop, I should probably check who on our team has Gloom skills that aren't skill ones. Because I don't want you to probably prioritize to get more of this. I know, like, for Hong Lu and Dawn, it's their skill twos. Uh, we can pull it up here. Yeah, your skill two. Your skill two, your skill one, skill one, skill two, skill two. Okay, so we don't want to change your skills, and everyone else we want to do is skill one to skill two. Makes enough sense. I want to check that before we get to the shop, just so I could know what the plan's going to be for the skill changes. Rudyichi Hongu's got this. Nice. Okay. What are we gonna want? Red Order is sinking. It's offense level for having sinking, so it's pretty solid. Uh, healing might need it, we'll take it. Carmilla, always solid. Gregor can get another skill too. Don't mind if we do. There's a little bit of synergy there, but not enough for me to care too much, yeah. We'll just move on, I think. Upgrade some stuff on the next floor, you know how it goes.
We don't have either of the ingredients for the fusion gift right now, but like I'm not too concerned with that, right? Go get our get our bloom resonance going. We also could definitely make some pretty decent use of um use on bygone days here, since that's what Nico that really wants bloom resonance in the first place, right? And these guys are weak to pierce, so, you know. Let's 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 give it a shot. And you know, let's get the four of Bloom Resonance so we can trigger the information relay. It's not really worth it, but you know, we can trigger it. Uh, you can actually see it with the background because I actually brought it to the threat from three there. Pretty cool. I mean, getting a little coin for that to work even more, that would also be funny. Easy dodge. You're at 11 sinking, 11 sinking, since it's already passed, you got even more sinking there. And now we can just gloom you to death. That's simple. Leap just kills though, yeah. Thanks to the fact you're weak to Pierce, it doesn't even make the biggest difference though. That was why, because he was already gonna stack it either way. I hate the button so much. Do they say if they're, if they're fixing that the ego gift button in the patch notes? It just always bothers me. Uh, I'll just gloom gain even more poise, sure. Oh yeah, that's right. We did get teased in the idea we're getting next week. We're getting Nelly Ryoshi next week. Pretty cool. Makes enough sense. I wonder what the two star is going to be, though. Because here's the thing. You, we get like an average of four. Th we get a four three star per season as kind of like a basis, right? Yeah, I'll, 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 uh... That means, like, all, other than this, we're obviously going to get the Heathcliff ID. Um, makes me think. So, the, I guess that means we aren't going to get... We're either not getting a Hindley ID at all, or we're going to get, like, a Hindley 2 star. Honestly, would be fair enough. If we do get a Hindley ID, it'll be, you know, non... It'll be just normal Hindley, just fighting with a cane or something. So I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't get a two star from him. Either that or we might get like a we might get both butler thin play. Or maybe we'll get a, a, I guess a Edgar family butler. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe we'll get like an Uthi ring ID. Who knows? Would be cool. I don't have particular interest in them because like it, it's not Uthi, it's not the ring, it's like somewhere in between and that's weird. Right? Oh, there's coming over to coin. That's good for the bygone days, you know, synergy we're trying to go for a little bit. Upgrade some stuff. Broken Compass upgrade is always pretty solid. Thorny Path upgrade is always pretty solid, so it's less resonance instead of less absolute resonance and more thinking. And we can upgrade Pen Nostalgia too, because why not? Very fast floor two, very fast floor two. <laughs> We also don't have any gluttony on this team, but that's probably fine. I don't remember, what does it cost to use bygone days in the first place? Is it gluttony? No, it's sloth. Ooh, we don't have a lot of that either, I think. But we do, we do have some of that. You're skill 3, you're skill 1. So we just kind of got to focus on sloth a little bit more some of these times, I guess. Something like that should be good. Ignore the guy that's just blocking. We get the, you know, the gloom resonance so that we can trigger the funny passives. And we'll be able to use Yisong's Ego next turn. Because we should have gotten enough sloth, I believe. I think we have two sloth and we need three. So using both these sloth ego skills wasn't necessary, but it'll help. Right. Maybe our nightmare could also be pretty nice here to get the singing potency up a little bit faster, but for now we're gonna rely on Yisong for the singing potency, I think. I think we're well. Okay, so let's see. So if we want to hit all three, that's fairly doable. Oh, it's because you got paralyzed, I see. 
You're not gonna be able to do much flashing this turn, are you? We can go for a neutral and you might be fine. Yeah, it's worth a shot, I'd say. Wing arms. Do that there, because it hits all three. And then attack this arm a little bit. And we can flash. Okay, oh, this will be good. Because this will go towards. It'll hit all three targets with the first one, and the second one will siege. There we go, bunch of sinking potency. Unfortunately, because the targets don't have like echoes of man or something. Or one of the arms to... No, it doesn't have anything else, don't they? That means the sinking is not gonna last very long. Yeah, like this part runs out of sinking, unfortunately. That's alright. Remise is uh pretty good for sinking though, because it wins the clash and flicks three, second coin and flicks two. Pretty good. And second coin and flicks or oh, clash win and flicks two. Second point looks three something like that, right? Can attack that arm once. That arm put is dead. It is dead. Cool. And we just gotta attack you a bunch this turn, which should be fairly easy. We'll save the nightmare hunt, honestly. No need to pull it out here. And like that'll work well. We've got, we're getting some sloth ego resources this turn as well. That's good since you know what I was talking about it earlier. It's something we kind of need some more of. So that'll be nice. And we break that part so we don't actually get in jam off. That's okay. Not that big of a deal. We've got mind, but mind up isn't great for sinking though. I mean, it kind of is against like part of Echoes of the Manor, but unfortunately, it's like you're off of it as Echoes of the Manor. Oh, it doesn't even say. It's not even telling me which part has echoes of the manor. That's, that's funny. It's one of the arms, though. I don't remember which one. So we can't make actually actual use of it. We'll use our funny skills on the bottom guy just to kill him. That'll work well. I'm getting a jam off this turn, Nightmare Hunt. And I guess we should probably use this instead then. You can't flash, unfortunate. We'll live. Yeah, we, we're a little bit of overkill on the bottom guy, but that's because top guy we're actually hitting with like the gloom, the sinking stuff. For the bit. Do a little bit of dusting. Nice. And yeah, the red space, very overkill. Don't even get a fifth coin off. Oh, we lose those. Unfortunate. He yeah, gains once a clap so I can start the thing because of his ego, but that's fine. You're gonna get in some one-sided hits. You're gonna take some self-damage on the process, so that's fine. And Nightmare Hunt finishes the job. So it's not really that big of a deal. There we go. Cool. Love those gloom resonances. It's doing it does a lot of stuff for us, that's for sure. When we're getting the gloom resonances. If any rares out except gloom, absolutely. Especially because it's giving us an nebulizer. That's a good trade, I think. That's a that's a good trade offer. I, I do say. Press on. Okay. Some of these robots. Get the gloom resonance. I also do know I'm not I'm not bothering to get the four gloom resonance every time. I know we technically need the four gloom resonance to trigger every passive, but we need three for everything except the Yi song, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> Although I'm intentionally not playing DHE uh, Hong Lu correctly, they want to get the sloth resources. Even if it means I'm not playing him to the, to the best of his abilities, I'm just trying to get him through the funniest. Even if that means he doesn't have the correct insight numbers. That's fine, you don't, I don't know, you don't always need to play him right. But he doesn't matter it's a lot from it, but like... I mean, that's also true for like, for DHA Rodeon, it really is like... 
Not always like it's, you're not always supposed to play her optimally for insight, right? Sometimes you want to not care about insight. Sometimes you just want to discard as much as possible for as much shield as possible. You don't care about like the damage up you get, like the coin power from skill one from insight and stuff. I, it's all there's always a trade off. You can say the same for DJ on this. Okay, some crabs. We'll get the four gloom residents this turn, because might as well. This crab is 12 singing count. How wholesome. These crabs are weak to bloom, and therefore they're not having very great times, are they? Yeah, one of them died, two of them are staggered. This guy is like at half HP. Cool beans. Get all the passives. Or all but one of the passives, but good enough. And it's just the big guy left who's already dead to Nightmare Hunt. Yeah. There we go. Simple enough. Love thinking. I do wonder if you... I mean, think about the Edgar Friendly Brothers stuff. They were, they were more bleedy, right? They were like kind of bleed speed type stuff. So like... Nelly Ryoshu might also be like that, I guess. Hard to say for sure, I suppose, but... That's like the logical, like, interpretation of it. Grab Faith, yeah, definitely. We'll just see though, because Ryoshu already does have a pretty solid bleed 3 star through Kurokumo. It's nothing too exceptional. That's for sure, but it's pretty good for bleed, all things considered. I wonder if Nelly Ryoshu is going to be like a bleed speed haste unit. Good to see. Just because Nelly leaves the Edgar family butlers doesn't mean she fights exactly like them, because she was originally one of the Wuthering Heights butlers before she kind of, but she fought with Kathy instead of being loyal to the manor. That's her power contract worked out. Right. Ooh. We got the spawning applause for the gloom fight, as as we often do. We got the toad. So scary. What part has a lot of gloom? Or a lot of sinking? Well, left I've got a decent bit, so that's good. You're gonna need to do this here, yeah. Hitting two parts, that's fine. Good enough for me. I would rather if you only hit the one part we want to stack the sinking on, but it's not that big of a difference. Have I gone days here? Could I? I mean, it doesn't really hurt me. Gloom and Lost, like, yeah. Look, I'll we'll go for that. And we'll have you dodge one of these. And then do something like that, I guess. Not going for too much here, but what we are going for is good for the sinking, right? That'll work out. And we're wanting to have a fair bit of gloom stuff going on this turn just because the Sun Bug on days relies on gloom to put singing potency. This Nego animation looks a little weird against the giant toad, but you know, Gregor's trying his best, and that's what counts. Uh, I guess he does it twice, that's fine. If it wasn't him, it would have been, um, uh, Ishmael, like it was twice, so... That's fine. He's doing very bad damage, though. Probably maybe you should have just had him evade. But now he's lost a fair bit of sanity. He needs some back, but that means his attack will be funny next turn. Thinking. Yeah, if we can get the sinking clash wind stuff on the body, it might be able to keep it sinking. Okay. Dawn's getting sunk a little bit. That's alright. We will get better. Okay, we need you to clash the body so that you 
you need your skill too if you can't actually do the fighty. That's fine, then. You got this, which is something for the body, but it'll still run out. Yeah, left eye is looking pretty good on seeing right now. Actually, wait, wait, yeah, no, you're fine, okay. Right eye we're just ignoring. Left eye is pretty good on seeing already. But I just have pretty good potency, but kind of lacking on count. Oh, we can expend knowledge for a bunch of count, can't wait, and that's good. Can't clash there, so we'll clash to someone else. You do that there. And then you guys go for this. We'll pull out another bygone days. It hits two parts once again, good enough. It means roughly half of the singing will go to the part we're trying to stack it on. It would be better if we went for, you know, the body and the eye instead of, you know, the two eyes. But I don't care too much because, like, I mean, we could have definitely managed it, but we would have had to recycle all of our attacks, and I'm lazy, right? But we get two of these off, so that's pretty good. The gloom isn't insane this turn, so it's not like the most sinking. So that's fine. Still pretty good. We can do a lot of damage now. The most important thing is we're doing this without Rhyme Chink, kind of. It's a good showcase of why you do not need Rhyme Chink at all for sinking. Of course, it makes it a lot easier. And a lot easier is an understatement, really. That's fine. You're going for some things this turn, as you like to do. Amazing 10 count. Pretty good. I was gonna go for the Gloom Resonance, though, I think. Anyone who isn't great for sinking can clash instead. Um, yeah. We'll roll with it. Might as well. Don't really need to. We could have played with ADD to make the Gloom stuff good for Rupture. For the bit. Which is a funny idea. A little bit of a strange one, but it would work. But yeah, no, down you go. Good stuff. Always nice how it's, there's just one eye weak to gloom. And how that's just the perfect target for us. Um, unfortunate. Gloom Resonance gives off and solves all allies, so we'll take that. No made aware of nightmares why it's unfortunate, though. Hopefully we'll get one in the shop, we'll see. We... We'll see. I'd say pretty soon, it's gonna be a short enough for. Maybe we'll tear through these guys. We'll keep on going for our Gloom Resonances, as we always do. Go for a bit of an end jam. For the sake of the sloth game that we kind of need. We'll just probably build up a decent bit of sloth this floor, so we'll have for the final boss. And yeah, Jam's not going to do like an insane amount, but mm, that's fine. I think we've been practicing, I think the target was below zero SP, so that's cool. Yeah. Get that gloom, get the four gloom residents for the funny. Name around this guy, should be pretty good. Yeah, as expected. It's just, it's just a pretty strong skill, that's that's what, why Nightmare Hand is nice, right? Pretty good. Get the Gloom Resonance, we can just go top path fully here for the bit. And that should work pretty well. I don't know why I'm bothering with Chi Han and Lu when the enemies are all gonna be dead before he gets the chance to attack. I think also just have it, right? I kinda habitually use the Chi Han Lu for the full of ability to use my favorite ID. Be fun. It's as simple as that. Like, all you need for me to really like the ID is to have, like, a funny gimmick to manage. Right? That's why I love Insight so much. I've, like, barely bothered with DHG Yisung because he's lame. He's just a weaker version of uh, Rodeon, but he's Insight, so I'm sure he's not, like, the worst thing. Oh, here's, here's Midwinter Nightmare. No such thing as free grip, so now our thinking is going to be even better. Okay, tattoo could be good. 
We can take a risk encounter here, and that's the last normal fight of the run. Sounds good. Gloom Resonance. Look at that Gloom Resonance. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh. Dawn so Clash. Unfortunate, she was using skill one, so it happens, right? We're doing good damage. They gained a bunch of sinking from the random sources of sinking. I mean, random sources of sinking, I just mean thorny path, which isn't really random. Just when they get sinking, they get more sinking. Which is pretty funny. Don't get me wrong. And yeah, we can just do more of the same here. And that's pretty good. Keep on getting the benefits from getting the gloom resonance, which is funny. We were already doing it every turn, so like getting in you gifts. I didn't I couldn't remember if any EU gifts actually benefited for having gloom resonance. Because I completely forgot about the secondary part of uh, that EU gift, the statue thing. I forget its name. The one we got at the beginning of this floor though, right? Forgot about the secondary effect entirely, because I just think it was a damage up for uh single targets, right? The Phantom Pain, yeah. Yeah, Gloom Absolute Resonance, two offense levels all that next turn. I guess we're not always going for the Absolute Resonance, but this is just kind of a reason to go for the Absolute Resonance instead of just the uh, lame, normal Resonance. We also get this here, which is nice if we're going to spam Mass Attack a la, uh, Flygon Daisy Sun. Otis, you get another skill too, we'll take it. What a thrill. This is thinking. We can sell quite a few things here. Like, we don't need healing at this point. Carmilla doesn't help us at this point. Blue Zibbler doesn't help us at this point. Snake Diversion never helped us. Uh, I guess it's, it, was, it would have been nice for the Marusso Pass, if I don't care. Envy slash Resonance and kill stuff. Meh. We need Talisman Bundle. And keep everything else, though. Red Melted Spring. Mm, nothing's really calling out to me too much. Oh, there's reverberation. We'll take reverberation. And we'll move on. Upgrade some stuff, I guess. Whoops, wrong button. We could upgrade red order to plus plus, sure. Don't think I've ever actually upgraded red order to plus plus before. So those are first for everything, right? Oh, and we've got flurry trend on this one here. Ooh, this is. Probably gonna be very sinkable if I had to guess. The left arm's got most of the count, that's where we want to attack a bunch, anyways, so that's fine by me. Let's think and count from that. This is sink and count. This is sink and count. And you can. Buy on days? You can hit both parts if you want, right? Well, it's something like that. This looks good. Because we, we got a clash from the people who actually inflict more singing count from winning classes, right? Because we have Midwinter Nightmare, every single attack we land is just for thinking, right? So even the stuff that's thinking neutral is super beneficial. I guess we doubled up on the coin on, uh, Long lose skill one there, so that's fine. Given it's also pretty good to double up on that one, right? Okay, but the body ran out of sinking there, but that's fine. That's to be expected. We're just spam we just spam random gloom attacks into there and stuff, right? We get the portrait off, it hits both parts, and then we just dagger the arm to the funny. And you get black. Yeah, how's the left arm doing on seeing the 46 with a 13 count? Cool. I think at this point we don't really care if we're actually going for stuff that inflicts sink and count though. I think we can just attack it a bunch and it probably means you just die. Oh, for the bag on days because we can double down on that. That'll work. And we got a sandy back last turn thanks to City. So we didn't, don't need to worry about, you know, losing too much sandy from this. Oh, it would be cool to see the corrosion. Because it is a cool looking corrosion. Mm -hmm. 
A little bit of sinking. Yeah. Just a little bit. And X Ben knowledge gets the kill, even if it's only a two coin one. Yep. Easy enough. You don't you don't need spice, but you don't need rhyme chink for a good sinking team. I say as if I don't have like every other good sinking idea on this team. Yeah, it's sinking is still weird. Yes, we get it. You want to stab Heathcliff to death, Gregor. Fair enough. No, I didn't mean you, Gregor. I, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to my dog. I'm talking to Linton, Gregor. His tail was wagging. Maybe, maybe he does want to stab Heathcliff then. I don't know. Oh, they passed level 120. There we go. We have maxed it out. We haven't been doing that much grinding either, so pretty funny to see. I don't even need the next mirror done to three hard. That'll just be a bunch of free boxes, which will be nice to start next season with. Yeah, daily extraction time. Um, I've already done the Rodan daily extraction. Whoops about that, it happens. Oh yeah, I guess fun, fun fact, I don't think I mentioned this, but when I, there's a day where I didn't do daily mirror dungeon this week because I did this like the run instead. Uh, I did just get a duplicate of Linton Gregor. So it happens. I've got I got some McGregor card from that though, which is nice. But nothing special today. That's fine. But yeah, um, pretty funny. The passives are funny. We got some pretty good use of bygone days that round. I think it's hard to tell for sure. You know, the singing is split. I don't like how the singing is split between targets. That's the main thing, right? It was kind of random. It's kind of hard to see exactly how much an effect you had. It's still pretty good, right? But I feel spin it again, which I'm kind of tempted to do at some point. It becomes blue resin times 1.5 thing, so it's even better. And it gains a more attack weight with the corrosion if you have high gloom resonance. Because for some reason, like every ego nowadays, it gets a high attack weight for resonance. Why not? Anyways, that'll be all for this time. One day left until Canto 6's final update. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!